Jolly good day, everyone. It is me, Ashley, and I am reading more The Long Lost Dream. Now, uh, there's a little something I'd like to mention before I do this. Um, I tried to do this earlier, but the website got a little weird, honestly. It just, it wouldn't let me, uh, do this. You know, let me view the story, so, um, it's back, so... I will pretty much be continuing this anyways. And if you must know, we're starting off with Jackal's point of view. Yippee! <laughs> anyways, um, let us read this, shall we? <clears throat> no, 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 no! If wise guy sees me like this, I'm so dead! I yelled, I'm freaking, I yelled, I'm freaking out so bad! Calm down, Jackal. If Master Wiseman hears you calling him Wise Guy, he'll definitely punish you. Real said while flying up to me. Calm down! Last time my body was visible, I got the crap. Well, Jackal, watch the language. I got the <laughs> beat out of me by Master Wiseman because I held a young visitor girl. I yelled, Wow, Jackal, seriously, calm down. Speaking of that, I've been wondering, why did you help her? He asked. I, I don't know why. She was having a nightmare of kids bullying her. And I just, I felt like I had to help her, I said. I see. This is something similar to what Knight said back when I was confronting him. When he first helped the visitors. Riel said. I have no doubt that the visitor is the same one I helped. What am I going to do? I asked. How do you know she is the same one? He asked. Because she just, she called me J-Fun. <laughs> That's actually kind of a nice little nickname. Only she'd know that nickname. Only she'd know that nickname. I said with tears in my eyes, She was my first friend outside of you. Nights of the other night, Barons. How's my, how's my impression of Jekyll's crying? Give me his response to that, guys. I said quietly. When the wise guy, I mean, wise man found out, he made me up so badly that I couldn't move. And changed me back. And where my body wasn't visible. It hurt so bad. I told him. I'm sorry, Jackal. I didn't know. Yale said. Wise men didn't want anyone to know. That's why you. That's why you all didn't see me for a while. I said. Okay. Now, Dice's point of view. Owl had, fin Owl had finally joined us and asked me what happened. Knights explained, Knights explained most of what happened. But then I asked, but then asked me, Dices, can you explain how you knew Jackal a bit? I nodded. Right, 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 right. I gave her a different voice. My bad. Oh, well, I guess it was supposed to be like a panic thing. Back when I was little, I used to sleepwalk, mainly when I had nightmares. I was in kindergarten, and at the time, I got the time, so kids had, had made fun of me for it. Some would beat me up when the adults weren't looking. Oh, I feel bad for that. Uh, just wow. That last stayed up un until I was in the third grade. Before I killed somebody! Sorry. Uh, just you know, you know, that was actually a reference. I'm not sure where it was, but I actually heard it on a video. That's, that was basically just supposed to be a reference, guys. I know that's a bad thing, but, uh, honestly, I think it seemed fitting, too. So, uh, heh. <laughs> Sorry.
when I stopped sleepwalking. I stopped when oh, uh, stop is supposed to be with two P's. You kind of misspelled it. When I met Jathan, or Jackal as you all know him as, the bullying and sleepwalking stopped all at the same time. He was my first friend. Then four years later, he just disappeared. I was so upset that he wasn't there anymore. Aww. My name is Jackal. Your best friend for life. I can't believe I just referenced that creepypasta, but uh, hey, if Jack was literally going to be that, might as well. But hey, at least he has reasons for being sympathetic. And not just a monster. Of course, I had gotten more friends after I met him, but he was still my first friend ever, I told them. Night shows a sad face. Same with Owl and Danica. Danica and Night came over to me and hugged. I hugged them back. After a while, we let go of the hug. Um, Dices? Danica asked. Yeah? I asked her. That Nightmare didn't know what I was. And I don't even know... Don't even think I know. What kind of creature... Am I, do you think? She asked. I don't know. Hmm. Oh! How about we say you're a night guardian? I said. I think it fits. Especially since she's... Oh, wait. That's nights! Ah! Sometimes... Sometimes this kind of confuses me, guys. It's like, okay, who's talking first? And then I had to go, like, scroll down and just, uh, it happens at times. I think it fits, especially since she stood up for you immediately as Riala called you a stupid child. Knight said, well, doing an impression of Riala. What? Oh, wait, he was doing, Knight was doing an impression of Riala? <sighs> I'm not sure how that would sound. Eh, I could try. Hey, stupid child. That's the best I could do, guys. I'm not sure how nice it would do that. Uh, oh, boy. Me and Danica laughed at how silly it sounded. Well, at least I was being honest. As I laughed, the necklace in my pocket fell out onto the ground. Huh? Huh? What's this? Knight asked while picking up the... Retangled gem. Oh, that's a necklace me and Danica found while waiting for you in in the dream gate. I said, hmm. From the looks of it, it's a creator stone. Gem, my bad. Knight said. Really? Who do you think it belongs to? I asked. I'd say it must have... It must be yours, visitor, Owl said. What do you... Why do you say that, Mr. Owl? Danica asked. Let's see. Oh, this is Owl, Owl talking. Again, sometimes, uh... Hey, uh... Jay? Maybe for future... Uh, chapters, you could actually, um, kind of make it seem who is actually talking. Because, honestly, this actually kind of, kind of confused me. I'm not trying to pretty much pressure or anything. It's just that, well, it would actually make it a little more, uh, easier to tell who is talking. Because I literally did kind of miss my place. Anyways, well, she is a creator. When a creator finds a creator's gem, and they do not have one yet, it's most likely it's theirs. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And she's the first female creator here in a very long time. Owl said, I'm not sure if that's a good way of determining if, it, if, if it's mine or someone else's. 
again, spelling check. I said, only one way to find out. Put it on, Dices. Knight said, wow, hold on there, Knights. Can you two tell me what it does first, please? I asked. Well, I honestly don't know, Visitor, Owl said. A creator's gem is a is a jewel that helps a creator to harness all its all their power and helps them summon their creations. It'll take years before you can use all your powers and power Wait, what what Ah dang it Again I got missed it. Hang on, I miss, I misread it again. Sorry, guys. A crea a creator's gem is, is a jewel that helps a, a creator to harness all their power and helps them summon their creations. It'll take years before you can use all your power, Miss. Okay. I'm sorry. This really did kind of screw me over a bit, but don't worry. I got it. A young girl voice explain. Who's there? If you're a nightmare, go away! I yelled. Chill, miss. I'm a dream marin. The dream marin said coming out of the, the open. She looked way younger than June and Joshua. She was mainly pink. Had a hot pink heart on her chest. Hot pink and light pink stripes. Seriously, that's a lot of pink. Pink stripes on her arms. Then pink cuffs. A light pink belt. Seriously, it's all pink. on her, Around her waist. A pink skirt. Pink and light pink hair. So much pink! You, just, you could call this one pinky for crying out loud because it's all pink. I guess it's here. Hold into pig, piggy tails. Pigtails, not piggy tails. It sounds pigtails. And stripes of multiple shades of pink down her legs. And finally her eyes. She has too much pink on her. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's my only response. It's like, ah, ah, it's too much pink. Too much pink. Let me guess, there's one who's fully blue. Anyways. Who are you? I asked. I'm Lace, the daughter of June and Joshua. It's nice to meet you, Lace said. Um, shouldn't you be with your parents? Knight said. Hey, I'm 12,000 years old. My parents were able to do whatever they wanted when they were 15. So I am too. She sasses. Wait, that was sass? I'm sorry. I kind of missed the sass part. Like, excuse me. Like, totally. I am much older than I look. <laughs> that, was, that was bad. I'm sorry. Wait, you're 12,000 years old? I asked. Yep, I'll be 12,001 tomorrow, she said proudly. Jeez, you're way older than me, I yelled. Oh, how so? She asked. I'm 16, I said. Oh, wow, I am older than you. Well, you're, you are a visitor, she said. And that's it. Honestly, there really wasn't much going on here. All we got was just, well, um, just a little bit about uh, the connection with Jackal and how basically, of course, he um, sort of pretty much had a uh, rough time and especially why he vanished. And then, well, it also explains the body part. You know, his body, physical body. And also, um... The fact that we're learning about this stone, or gem, I don't care. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just a rock. 
Honestly, I can say this was a decent chapter, I have to admit. Although it did take me a few times to actually figure out who was talking, okay? But, uh, anyways. This is Ashley. I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you all later. Bye!